This mission control style view enables me to understand the what, the why, and the how of Copilot as it's working. I can see the status of all of my tasks across my different repos in a singular view, and I can also jump in and continue working in my editor should I choose to. Welcome to GitHub Checkout, Ellie. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm excited to talk about this new mission control style view. Can you talk us through what it is and how it's improving collaboration between Teams and Copilot? Yes, absolutely. So this new mission control style view is basically a way for you to assign, manage, and steer all of your Copilot coding agent tasks in a centralized place. And the idea is if you can see everything in a single view, it's less cognitive load and you can work quicker and more efficiently with Copilot in your day to day. I started creating my task by going to this agents panel that is viewable on any page on github.com and I can type in a task here. I could have also gone to github.com slash copilot slash agents and kicked off a task from this view as well. Now, important to note, of course, that you can also start tasks by assigning Copilot to an issue. And so to get a live demo going, I'll go ahead and I'll assign this to Copilot. And so you can see how Copilot is actively working. I'll actually start a task here as well. So here I have a flight search app. It only has, I think, one profile picture allowed per profile, and I want to add multiple. And while Copilot is working in the background, I'll start off by just talking a little bit about what you see on the screen here. So on the left hand side, these are my session logs. And what we've done here is we've brought everything that you need in a single view. So the session logs here, these show Copilot as it's thinking through what it is that you're doing. You can kind of think of this as the chat logs maybe in VS Code. And here you can see Copilot talking to itself you know, looking through my code base. And at the end, it's actually going to test its work before presenting it back to me. And alongside the logs, I also have the overview as well as the diff. This is all the information that I need to understand. Do I need to jump in and course correct Copilot or can I let Copilot do its thing and I can come back to it later? I kicked off a few tasks and now let's check in on how they're doing. You can see that Copilot is booting up right now, installing my various MCP servers. And I realize if you're anything like me, that sometimes I forget requirements. And this is where real time steering comes into play. So you can see that I have asked Copilot to add multiple profile photos, but really I just want to have two. And with real time steering that I'll show right here, Copilot is going to pick up this message after its current tool call complete. So it'll say queued, and then after Copilot finishes its tool call, it will incorporate my feedback. This is where real time steering really comes in handy. And you can see that Copilot has acknowledged my change in direction. Going back to my original task that I had here, I can also give Copilot feedback after the session completes. So here my session has completed and I can say maybe, for example, you know, add logging to flight search. And so I no longer have to go to the PR to give Copilot this feedback. And all the while you can see all of my tasks running and their various statuses. At GitHub, it's really important that we enable developers to work where they want to work. And I like working sometimes in VS Code Insiders and continue working in my editor. And so I can do that by clicking code, open in VS Code Insiders. What? And you can see that Copilot is going to actually open up the session right here. Amazing. So I can see all the other tasks that I have Copilot running. Exactly. So in terms of customization, you can also use custom agents when you're assigning a task to Copilot. So if you have a specific custom agent, maybe for bug fixing and you're, we want Copilot to fix a bug, you can use that custom agent. And of course it will show up in your mission control style view. Is this something that we can view on the mobile app as well? So I can actually start tasks on mobile and continue working on the web you can kick off a task through the GitHub mobile app and continue working when you're back at your desk. I know customers have been using this. Um, what have you heard? How are developers incorporating this into their workflows? Yeah, so we're hearing just how much more productivity gains developers have from being able to manage all of their tasks in a single view and jump in 
and collaborate with Copilot without needing to task switch multiple times. I was talking to a developer the other day who mentioned that this view helps not blow up their human context window. And I just love that phrasing because it really is so true. Um, I'm feeling that for myself as well. So really seeing a lot of productivity gains. This is amazing. So are there any other plans coming up in the roadmap for mission control? Yes, there's two themes that are emerging that you'll start to see a lot more of for Copilot Coding Agent. The first theme I like to call it is iteration. So we want to continue to make it easier for developers to iterate and collaborate with Copilot. You know, we started with this real-time steering, and we think that there's more work that we can do to make sure that developers stay in the driver's seat and Copilot is there to scale and enable their day-to-day -day work. And the other is integration. So we talked a little bit about how I can now take my tasks that I start on the web and open it in VS Code. We want to make that story much more seamless for developers, whether I want to start on mobile and continue on the web or start on the web and continue in C Copilot CLI or continue working in my editor. All of that continuity and integration, we want to make a lot more seamless. Where can developers start trying this today and how can they provide you and the team feedback? You can go to github.com and kick off a task with the agents pane at the top of the screen that I showed first. If you're looking for a direct URL, I recommend going to github.com slash copilot slash agents. From your task view, from that mission control style view, right next to where you can click to view the PR, there's a little button that says give feedback. I read every single piece of feedback, um, so please do share your feedback, the good, the bad, and the everything in between. We are constantly working to make the experience better, and we use that feedback to know where we should focus. And that was your first look at Mission Control for Copilot Coding Agent. You can now manage all your tasks in one centralized view, steer Copilot in real time, and continue working whatever you prefer, be it the web, your editor, or even mobile. Give it a try. Push those changes to main and we'll catch you in the next release.